welcome back to some more Ruby. We are going to be here for another one, and I want to get this out. <coughs> I just want y'all to know that I'm going to be <coughs> I'm recording this the day after I did this, and as I'm recording this, I've already uploaded Ruby Volume 3, Chapters 1 and 2, Reactions. I've yet to upload Chapter 3, which I will when I upload that with my with the first episode till Borderlands 2. So my Borderlands 2 walk walkthrough, which I will be recording tonight, also with part two and three, so episodes two and three. And uh, I actually cannot wait to get more of more Borderlands with. Like I really want to play it. It's been a game I've been wanting to I've been anticipating to walk through with for a while. And, and I finally get a chance. So the game for free for gold and everything. So, anyway, guys, we are going to be here to reacting to more Ruby. The, things are getting good, guys. I cannot wait to see what's up. Okay, let's get started. I, before we get started again, I just want to say, because I meant to say this in the other reactions, I, 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 I just find it hard to believe that all this can be made by a freaking program that you can officially buy. <laughs> How the hell did they do this, man? Oh my god. If I got the money, I would definitely buy that shit. Oh, that's right, they're MLM Mercury. Koko and Yatsuhashi of Beacon. Good luck, you two. Oh, yeah. Kid. I'll try not to get blood on it. I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like her. Three, two, one, <laughs> begin! That's smart. I told you! A person for a fucking minigun! Terminator. Oh, that's all I can say. Huh? You should give up now, you're retaliating! Look out! He's good! Yeah, where's the go? Don't like her. Wow. 
see the transport of additional units to Vale. Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. I believe you had a run-in with its cargo, actually. It's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage. Otherwise, your team may not have fared so well. Weiss, you've done well out here on your own. You should be proud. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? And what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... You know I can't. Don't be ridiculous. Every Shni has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I've tried! It's just... It's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shnees are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your semblance is like a muscle. The more you practice with it, the stronger it will become. But if you only focus on one aspect of it, if you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible, then you'll never truly grow. You'll never be me, old man! <laughs> You're nothing but talk, kid. You can do it, Ruby! Say what? So I need your wings. Total annihilation. Ouch. And by the Damn. way, don't ever call me old. My turn. No challenge. Oh. <laughs> now, where was I? You were telling us about your last mission. Right, right. I come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs, even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. For what? Wait, what? Total annihilation. You are the worst! <laughs> <laughs> Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Ozpin? Ah, uh, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> cool for an old guy. Not funny. Hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for, like, ever. Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros, too. Oh, really? Psh. Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally say Vale while you were gone. Funny. Because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. But they don't give out medals for almost. They do, and they're called silver! Well, we helped take down Roman Torchwick. He's locked up in Ironwood ship and crimes went down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in the kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. Violence has dropped since Roman got nabbed. 
it stopped completely. No white fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a King Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. <sighs> team Stark. That's when I met your parents. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that up. For real? But I'll save those for when you're older. Oh, anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. You're gonna cramp my style. Look, just remember that you've still got a long way to go. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. You two, you're gonna go far. But only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Reason why I'm clapping already is because Crow is one of those awesome badass characters that knows his shit. I cannot wait to see more of Crow because this guy, I want to see him in action like with that fucking sword and shit. I heard him in Volume 4 he does get a fight, which I cannot wait to see. I, like, oh my god, man, like, I'm really, I'm really loving this freaking this episode and just the entire volume and season in general so far because man and yeah he is right when you really take down a top dog there's always going to be like another leader that's going to come in and do do the same shit it's not like a video game where like let's say if you're playing Mario you beat Bowser or some shit like like it's done. There's always gonna be another another guy that's gonna rise up or some shit. Or more perfectly as as an example, like like in Star Wars, like y'all know how Star Wars episode six a ended. Well, just just because Vader and Palpatine are dead doesn't, doesn't mean like the that that's truly the end of it. So someone else is gonna rise up and take over. Blah blah blah. But. I'm glad they took note of that. That is awesome. <sighs> like, Ironwood, man. He really thinks it's over. Um, and then again, like, they got like, all these defenses up. and Who really, who really knows what's going to happen? This this show is unpredictable at times. I agree with Crow with all that stuff. Excellent form. Now think to your fallen foes. The ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were, and become who you are now. Think of them, and watch as they come to your side. I can't! Stop doubting yourself! I'm trying! If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure Father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. I don't need his charity. But you do need his money, don't you? What? How did you know about that? Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. So what have you done this time? Well, that's the thing. I'm really not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. I know! Well, it was. Why would he cut me off like that? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or... You could continue to explore Remnant, discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself.
It's time for me to go. It was really good to see you, Winter. Until next time, sister. That was a kick-ass episode. Not only did the chair get off with um, Emerald and Mercury getting that freaking W, but also showing, you know, this was, it was basically mostly Weiss's episode, with 25% of it being Emerald and Mercury's fight, and the other 25% was, uh, you know, Ruby and uh, Yang, uh, you know, hanging out with Crow. <laughs> that that damn that damn part of the beginning when Ruby and Crow are just straight up fighting and have freaking uh game. That is uh like it's like they're playing like they're uh it's like they're playing uh that world's version of like straight street fighter or tech or Tekken or some shit. Which is awesome because you you know like like it's really cool and I really do like wow. Oh man. Ruby so far is getting so damn interesting. Like the reason why like again, like I said before, I when I'm quiet during all these interesting mo like I I'm gonna be quiet during these interesting moments because I'm so in, in, in into this stuff. I'm I'll be like so I wanna know more about this stuff. It's Really cool, really love it. Volume, volume three, chapter five, going down next, guys. Oh yes. <laughs>